Of course everyone knows how to cook marmalade, until they have to cook marmalade. Here's how to make it better than your nan. Okay, I'm not taking on your granny, okay? I'm just showing you a few tricks how to make your marmalade yummy mummy. Once done, send the pot to a prince. Apart from this one, of course. Yes, you're seeing correctly. Four ingredients. Orange. Use whatever kind you want. Yeah, Seville oranges are classic, but optional and also unnecessary. So, use whatever you have as long as it's fresh. Sad oranges will make sad marmalade. Lemon, extremely necessary. Balance, it brings balance. And the acid also sets the pectin. Use unwaxed, of course. Sugar, regular old healthy white sugar. Finally, a bit of pectin. Only lazy shops don't stock it, so easy to get. No one has time for extracting pectin out of lemon pith. Also, that method is redundant and yields a more bitter result. That out of the way, let's go. Cut the oranges in half with a razor sharp knife. One like mine, link it below. Next up, the lemon goes onto the chopping block. Same slice, same knife. Juice the oranges, extracting maximum juice. Obviously easier with a cheap juicer. Link in description. Same goes for the lemon. Once juiced, you keep all the rind in a bowl. Easy to forget what you're doing when you're sidetracked. Happens to the best of us. Keep your juice to the side for now. Combined, it should be about 800 milliliters. We need to get rid of the dry pith left inside the citrus. Easiest way to do this is by scraping it out with a spoon. You don't need the pith. Once done, you will have clean little citrus halves. Cut the orange halves into half again, twice, leaving us with leaf-shaped pieces. Carefully remove a thin layer of the remaining pith under the skin. Cut these into strips diagonally across like so. Stack them up if you want to go fast, but be careful. Before we do the same with the lemons, let's play a little game. Find Barry. I do Instagram cash giveaways on this, so go follow me. Of course he should be here, but he's not. Here? No. Ha! No. Boo! What the fuck? Anyway, you go find him, cash prize up for grabs. Remember five seconds ago? Do the same to the lemon. Petals, remove pith, slice into strips, add to the orange. Get the citrus strips into a pot or pan. Cover with water. This is a very important step most people leave out. Bring this to a boil and gently simmer for 30 seconds. Remove from the heat and strain through a colander, sieve, or pasta strainer. Look at that tasty, bitter, pissy water. Yeah, get rid of it. Unless, of course, you like golden showers. And yeah, welcome. Back into the pot the rind goes, followed by the citrus juice. Very important. Add the pectin to the sugar, then whisk it until it's well combined. This then goes into the pot with the juice and rind. Stir and let it sit like that for 10 minutes. Place on medium heat, and you'll need a cheap temperature probe for this, link also down below. Bring to the boil, then turn down to a very gentle simmer. Skim the frothy stuff that rise to the top. Continue gently simmering and stirring it. If you boil this vigorously, the rind will become hard and leathery and nasty. Not in a good way. So take it easy, like Sunday mornings. It's ready when it reaches 105 degrees Celsius or 221 degrees Fahrenheit. Test the set by placing on a plate and into the freezer for 10 minutes. When you run your finger through it, it should stay in place. You can now pour it into sterilized sealable jars and store in the fridge. You now stick it onto toasted English muffins. Watch my video how to make these. Or my favorite, British scones. I have a video on these, but let's throw them together in a jiffy. Grated frozen butter, flour mix, make a sandy texture, in goes milk, in goes cream, in goes lemon juice, spaghetti fingers and mix. Bring it together, barely, wrap it, and rest it for 10 minutes in the fridge. Gently floured surface, roll and fold, pat pat, cut, 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 cut. Don't waste, parchment lined tiny tray. Scones goes on in no particular order. Evenly space them out. Brush the tops lovingly with egg wash. Into a preheated oven set to 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit, they go. For 20 minutes. Let's make some hazelnut butter. Roast some hazelnuts at the same temp for 8 minutes. When done, cool slightly and rub to remove some of the skin, but not all. Into a blender it goes while still warm. Blend until smooth, adding a touch of neutral oil or water to help it spin. We are making hazelnut butter and marmalade toast, if you wondered. Store it in a sealable container in the fridge. By now, your beauties are ready. Look at that sexy glove. More importantly, look at these ridiculous scones. Oh, so flaky. Full video link below. Let me show you a classic British scenario for enjoying life fully. Richard here. Yeah? Would you care for a cuppa and a marmalade scone? Yes, sweet chicks. Down in a minute. Just finishing up with your mum. Okay, love. Take it easy, though. She has a bad hip, remember? Oh, that was intense. Sweating like a glass blower's ass, yeah? Surely your mum could ask your dad next time she wants to venture into the dusty attic. Dear, he's been ashes for over a decade. 
Oh yeah, fair enough. Fuck me, look at those scones. They're your famous orange marmalade from Pants Down Apron Son. Morning, Daddy. Morning, Mommy. Mmm, marmalade on toast. Fuck off, Jane. Get a job. You're 42 already. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Where's my marmalade, bitches? Ah, he's, he's back. back. Come on, Jane. Grab your nan. Can't squat here anymore. All right, enough of that. We all know the drill. Butter goes on. Hang on. Aren't we forgetting something? Let's not forget this bit of nasty. Clotted cream. Video link below. Down and dirty. Spread it thick with a fat eye. Marmalade goes on. If you don't drip, you're doing it wrong. It's what Sally's mom said. Not me. Old and wise. Enormously big bite. Let your brain and your mouth connect on a level never seen before. But what about the toast? A childhood favorite. But peanut butter is way too USA. USA. We like to take it easy, classy and slow. Drippity drip. Although, load that thing up with marmalade. Spread it, fold it and squeeze it. Remember what Nan said. If you don't drip, you're doing it wrong. Let's see. Can we go back in time? Take an aggressively large bite. Be as messy as you can. That's it, daddy-o. Back in 1999, or is it? Ah oh, damn, back in 22. And if you want to be the boss of reserves, then make sure to watch the strawberry jam video. Until next time, bye bye.